I remember when he was assassinated, I was in fourth grade and I was going to a Catholic school. You know, having a Catholic president at that time was a very big thing for us, you know, and, and he meant a lot. And so when it happened, it was, a, it was a real tragedy, not only for the country, but I think Catholics took it extremely hard. But I don't really feel that it demonstrates unfitness to hold a public office. The reason for our concern is the fact that your church has stated that it has the privilege and the right and the responsibility to direct its members in various areas of life, including the political realm. But we believe that history and observation indicate that it has done so, and we raise the question because we would like to know if you are elected president and your church elects to use that privilege and obligation what your response will be under those circumstances. If my uh, church uh, attempted to influence me in a way which was improper or which affected adversely my responsibilities as a public servant sworn to uphold the Constitution, then I would uh, reply to them that this was an improper action on their part, that it was one to which I could not uh, subscribe, that I was opposed to it, and that uh, it would be an unfortunate breach uh, and interference with the American political system. I'm confident that there would be no such interference. We've had two chief justices of the Supreme Court who were Catholics. We've had three prime ministers of Canada in this century. I've already mentioned Mr. De Gaulle and Mr. Adenauer. Uh, my judgment is that an American who is a Catholic, uh, who is as sensitive as a Catholic must be who seeks this high office, as exposed to the pressures which whirl around us, that he will be extremely uh, diligent in his protection of uh, his, uh, the constitutional separation. We would be most happy to have such a statement from the Vatican.